Greetings, everyone. This is Rock and Spock Connector with another Mutant Monday, and today we'll be looking at House of X, number six. This is the final issue of House of X. We've got one more issue now. Hmm. Now for power left for powers of ten, and then we'll be on to the new ongoings. So, where we left off, Krakoa had been <clears throat> acknowledged by the United Nations as a sovereign nation. And, um, yeah. Though there may have been some, though the vote was slightly influenced by, at the very least, Emma Frost, who convinced the Russian member of the Security Council to abstain from voting as opposed to voting against. So we start off with the following quote from Xavier. Is what we have perfect? No. What is? But it's a start. And a good one. Okay. So we begin on Krakoa a month ago in what is no place, which is Professor X's secret cradle. Um, Xavier, Magneto, Moira are basically... Okay, so this is what we've been planning. So we're, we're at the point where we do what, we, what we've been planning. So now comes the point. Do we start, we knock over this first domino, or do we just step away and never, come, and never look back? And they all agree that total commitment is what's required, so... They are they are agreed, and so Xavier then speaks to puts on the cerebro helmet, takes himself to every every person everyone on the planet, and says so he's bringing it, and says the following: Humans of the planet Earth, I am the mutant Charles Xavier, and I bring you a message of hope. In the coming days, you will learn of several far-reaching pharmaceutical breakthroughs that have been discovered by mutant scientists. These drugs extend human life, heal disease, diseases of the mind, and will prevent or cure most common, common mal maladies. Influenza, Alzheimer's, ALS, many cancers, gone, overnight. These drugs will make life on this planet better. Remarkably so. All this... We have made for you. In the past, they, they would have been a gift. Something freely given by me to you. Because I believe it would create harmony between, between our two peoples. That was my dream. Harmony. But you have taught me a harsh lesson. That dream was a lie. You see, all I ever wanted was peace between humans and mutants. All I ever wanted was was to love you and for you to love us. We wanted to save you, and we did, many times. But in return, all you did was stand by while evil men killed our children. That, it should be noted, that uh, that bit of dialogue is actually put on a uh, panel feet showing uh, Black Panther, Captain America, and Iron Man leaving a Quinjet. Over 16 million of them. And so there will be no gift, for you have not earned it. We will, however, let you pay for it. In return for two things, we will provide you with the means to have a better life, one without pain or suffering and full of hope, and it will cost you so little. First, you must accept the island of Krakoa as the nation state of all mutants on this planet. We will happily go through the same process as any newly formed nation with the UN, but there is an expectation that our, an expectation that our sovereignty will be recognized. Second, all mutants by birth can claim Krakoan citizenship. And with that citizenship, we expect a period of amnesty, so that those who have been singled out as criminals or punished and imprisoned by humans can overcome man's bias against mutants. From this day forward, mutants will be judged by mutant law, not man's. 
These are, these are our simple de demands, and they are not negotiable. In return for making you, our lives better, we will do the same for you. And if you find yourself at, yourselves asking, who are these mutants to think they can dictate terms to us? We are the future, an, an evolutionary inv inevitability, the Earth's true inheritors. You closed your eyes last night, believing the world would, stay, would be yours forever. That was your dream, and like mine, it was a lie. Here is a new truth. While you slept, the world changed. So, next we get a, a write-up on the, the Quiet Council of Krakow. Um, it's separated off into four, or five groupings, uh, four of them by season. The other, the other being Krakow, you have Winter, Professor X, Magneto, and Apocalypse. Oh wait, that's Autumn. Sorry, Autumn is Professor X, Magneto, and Apocalypse. Winter, Mr. Sinister, Exodus, and Mystique. Spring, Black King, the Black King of Spring, Sebastian Shaw, the White Queen of Spring, Emma Frost, and the Unknown Red King. Summer, Storm, Jean Grey, Nightcrawler. And finally, representing Krakow itself is Cypher, and Krakoa. Next you have the Great Captains. It explains that while the Quiet Council is the recognized ruling authority on Krakoa, when there is a state-related excursion or in times of conflict or war, the Great Captains of Krakoa assume the responsibility of defending the state. In the field, a captain has total control. Among the captains, the captain commander is considered first among equals. The Great Captains are Cyclops, who is the Captain Commander, Gorgon, Bishop, and Magic. Okay? And we also have a diagram of the Council, kind of where everyone sits, and including the, cap the, the Great Captains. So we get, now we go to now, and the first meeting of the council. Everyone but the Red King shows up. We don't know yet who the Red King is, after all. Turns out that the first order of business is to sit in judgment of Sabretooth. It's explained that when Sabretooth, Mystique, and Toad infiltrated damage control back in issue one, they were told not to, you know, not to kill anyone. And we do get a little sniping at each other from the various council members. Um, Sabretooth threatens the council. And Emma and Jean basically shut him up. And uh, other things are also brought up. Property rights, wealth, currency. And the point is also made that, you know, Krakow is alive. Not a place, but a per but an entity. Mystique goads, or, tries to uh, bait Nightcrawler into saying something by saying, "You know, before we make any decisions on laws and whatnot, you know, we have yet to hear from the most from the righteous among us." And so Nightcrawler sits and thinks for a moment, after after being again baited with you know, you know where is your foolish providence in all this? Where is your God's wisdom? He, he thinks for a second and says, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. So he says, It's obvious, isn't it, Raven? We need to make more mutants. 
then Xavier agrees and uh, we get the quote from the beginning from, from Xavier as well and so the first laws of the nation are make more mutants murder no man now the murder no man part is basically comes from the idea that if a mutant is killed they are automatically eligible for resurrection pro for the resurrection protocol however humans are not and so therefore a mutant can be replaced if they're killed but a, but a human cannot so, and the final law is respect the sacred land. Next, they move on to the judgment. They actually do move on to the judgment of Sabretooth. We, and this is where we get an explanation that Magneto gave strict instructions when Mystique, Toad, and, and uh, Sabretooth went on their mission in issue one. And Sabretooth did not listen. And so, everyone's on the same page. It's like, yeah, he's guilty. So, it's decided that he will be, in a way, in a manner of speaking, exiled. His sentence is explained like this. The problem is that the problem with sentencing, sentencing him for his crimes is that they cannot send him back into the world. As they tolerate no prisons here on Krakoa, that leaves their that leaves very few choices. Especially since capital solutions would bring you into resurrection protocols. Instead, your fate his fate will be to stasis, deep inside Krakoa, alive but immobile, aware but unable to act on it. For forever. For that is how long mutant justice lasts. There be a, a day might come when, say, when Creed has the opportunity to redeem himself. But that time is not now, and until it is, he's exiled. And Xavier explains, you know, the business of running a nation is distasteful. He says he prays they never get used to it, they never grow cold from it, and they never learn to love it. And he, there's a long narration that continues. It's been said that when a parent has a child, they never get a good night's rest again. This is being said over uh, panels of the quiet council dispersing from the council chamber, and to celebrate to a massive celebrate, celebration on Krakoa. Well, I have had millions of children, and I have, haven't slept in decades. I may never sleep again. Now the same may be true of you, but they will. But they will. In so soft grit fields of lush green, staring at the stars, dreaming of a future where they hold those stars in their hands. This is what we will give them: a home, a nation, and someday in the future, the world. I believe in what we are doing. I believe the world will be better for it. And that is reason enough to carry this burden. In fact, it's more than that. It's reason to celebrate it. Um, now, some points, some, some various things shown in the, during the party. Um, Banshee, no longer zombified. Uh, Siren is there, and she basically hits Dazzler with gives Dazzler some Dazzler, bleh, gives Dazzler some sound to work to, to work with for her powers. Uh, we see Archangel, Iceman and Beast talking with one another. Exodus talking with some of the younger students. Jean, Cyclops and Wolverine talking briefly. And then Logan takes a couple beers from a six pack to Gorgon. Kind of a hey, I know we uh, got off. We start. We uh, started off on the wrong foot, but truce. Um, we also get a shot of Sink and Skin from uh, Generation X 
two characters who have been lo dead a very long while now back amongst the living. Uh, for the characters in question, Skin is a uh, young Hispanic man from Los Angeles who has, I want to say, three feet of extra skin on his body, which he can't control and stretch as need be. He, he got the stretchy part of uh, Mr. Fantastic's abilities, but not... But... Uh, not as glamorous. Um, had he been created in the 80s as opposed to the 90s, he probably would have been one of the Morlocks, to be perfectly honest. Sink can sync himself up with nearby mutants to use their abilities. Then, uh, then while Wolverine and Gorgon have a beer together, Gene takes two more beers and goes to Emma Frost, makes a peace offering. The last two beers in the six-pack are split between Cyclops and Havoc. And it's great to see Havoc again, seeing his sound. The last time we saw him, he was, you know, dying in Uncanny X-Men. Looks like Apocalypse is, uh, watching Xavier Magneto from, you know, off to the side. We, there's also a map of, of Krakoa. So, there are a total of 21 locations in the Krakoa, in Krakoa. You have the House of X, the House of M, our Magna, which is for resurrection protocols, the Arena, the Academos Habitat, Main Transit, the Oracle, the Grove, the Cradle, the Reservoir, the Wild Hunt, the Carousel, Bar Sinister, which is just off the uh, northern coast. Hellfire Bay, which is on the southern, which is the south, appears to be the southeastern uh, coast. The Red Keep, Blackstone. I presume that the Black Blackstone is uh, where Sebastian Shaw resides, and the White Palace is where Emma Frost resides, and the Red Keep will be where the Red King lives. Uh, there is an unnamed point. I presume it's supposed to be more as no place. There's an unnamed point off the uh, southwestern uh, part of the island. Off the southwestern edge of the island. That, like I said, it's unnamed. And there's Atlantic Pacific Transit, the point, and Danger Island, which is for training. Danger Island is one of a handful of islands near it makes it Krakow and Archipelago. I guess that would be the best way to describe it. But yeah, that is the end of... So, yeah. And we finish up with Magneto, a quote from Magneto saying, just look at what we have made. And, House of, and so we conclude House of X. Uh, this upcoming week we'll see the release of Powers of Ten number six. And... A week after that starts the dawn of X with X-Men number one. Um, and it has been clearly it has been stated that no House Powers of Ten number six is not going to undo anything that happened in this. This is what's happened is legit. This is not an alternate reality. This is the core reality. Anyway, as always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Links to my Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, and PayPal will be found in the description box down below. This is Rock and Roll Spock signing off saying, Live long and rock hard.